Hey guys, how are you? So what are we gonna do? Like, what are we gonna do about the way things are going in this world? As enlightened beings, children of the light, children of Almighty God, children of Jesus. Jesus who is in with, in us and God who is in Jesus, his Father, our Father. What are we going to do? I know sometimes you might think, well, you know, Nicole, there's probably nothing we can do. We don't have the power, we don't have the money. Like, if you're thinking that, you're wrong. We're not just human beings, but we're spiritual beings. And what we imagine, we can manifest. You see, there's power in us getting together. The light. The light of the Creator. There's power. That's why they want to separate us. That's why they want to keep us apart. That's why they want us to be like six feet from each other. Not to be able to see our smiles. And not to be able to radiate the energy and the spirit within. We can't see our smiles, we can't see our feelings. We can't read our eyes and our energies are pulled back because we're not sure if the other person, the other behind the mask is, is um, receiving what we're, the message we're getting. So because we can't see their reaction and the emotions from their lips, their smiles, their frowns, their anger, their pleasure, we hold back and we just look at each other's eyes. But there's a reason why we're being distanced. And it's not what you think. It's because this is a, a war between good and evil. This is a battle. This is a spiritual battle. This battle doesn't just, is not just on earth. It's not, it's not just the good and the evil on this earth or the powerful and the weak or the rich and the poor. It's not about the black and the white. Those are just things that they've used to separate us, to keep us apart. Think about it. If it was about the black and the white and, you know, what uh, superiority and stuff like that, if someone's trying to keep another person down and doing everything they can because of the color of their skin or their ethnicity, don't you find that kind of strange? If you think you're powerful than, than an ant, because you're bigger and mightier and powerful, are you going to go out of your way to make sure that ant never is never prosperous or is always poor? No, you wouldn't care what the ant does because, you know, you're so, you, you think you're better, like you are better. So what, what do you care if the ant gets um, a little piece of your pie or whatever? But the problem is, the reason why people care is because they're scared. You're, they're scared of losing something from that person because that ant or that person or that culture or that ethnicity or that group of people actually has the power to take away their power. That's when you get scared. But what I'm trying to say is don't let them separate us because when they're poisoning our waters and poisoning our seas and poisoning our foods with pesticides and, and um, GMO and artificial this and artificial preservatives, when they're putting artificial hormones and parabens in, in the women's deodorants and, um, and fluoride in our waters and our toothpaste, do they say to like to the, the, let's say the white people, like don't drink that water. Or do they tell the, the white little girls, don't brush their teeth with fluoride. Just let the black girls do it or the brown girls. No, they don't. Cause they don't care. <laughs> they don't see color, they don't care. They don't care if the white little girl gets the fluoride toothpaste or drinks the fluoride water or, or, or eats the food with the with the artificial preservatives and stuff. It's not about color. It's not about race. It's not about superiority. It's about the few wealthy people keeping their wealth. And I don't even know if they're people, to be honest. 
I don't know if some thing came to this earth and, and is trying to, to, you know, take over humans. We've seen it in the movies. Now it's happening, we're like, oh, no, that can't happen. But killing out nature, why would a human being want to destroy the planet that they live in? Because that would be like destroying themselves. Why would we want to enslave our own people? Why would we not want people to work and, and to, to achieve their goals and to build their land and to, and to build their businesses and to be happy? Why would we not want everybody to be happy? Hmm? That doesn't sound like human, does it? It doesn't sound like the human race. It almost sounds like another thing came in here and wants, wants to destroy the human race. Because we're all one. That's why they treat us like one. We're the only dummies that separate our, ourselves. But like I said, they're scared of us getting together because there's power. There's power and strength in our energy. Because we're all energy beings and which are with our minds and our intent, we can manifest anything. If we got together, if we loved, if we raised our spiritual vibration, if we loved, if we called out to the Creator at the same time, if we hum and chant and prayed at the same time, if we prayed every day at 4.44 or prayed every day at 3.33 and at 1.11 and at 2.22, if every time those numbers come up and we all just whether we're standing, sitting, lying, sleeping, we set our clocks for each of these numbers. And every time these numbers come, we say, Almighty God, Heavenly Father, Holy Angels, Jesus, send your angels to guide and cleanse us and protect us and, and raise this spiritual love vibration on this earth. In Jesus' name. Salah. If we say that, and not Amen, say Salah, because there's a little history behind the word Amen. It's actually calling another, another kind of God and stuff, a kind of demon. So you say Salah, or you say Praise God, or Thank You Jesus, Holy Spirit. But let's do that. Those powerful numbers. Every time you set your clocks and your watches and your cell phones and your alarm clocks to, to remind you when it's 1.11, 2.22 p.m. or a.m., 4.44 p.m. or a.m., um, any of these spiritual numbers that I'm sure we see them because that's the Spirit talking to us. Heavenly Father, Holy Angels, in Jesus' name. Thank you, there, there, Almighty God, for protecting us. For we are a spirit, we're a light, we light energies. Let's pray. Let's stop whatever we're doing. We could even say it in our heads if we're on the bus. And at that time, every time we will pray to raise our spiritual, spiritual vibrations, love vibration. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, Holy angels, Jesus, shine your spiritual love light upon us. Help our spiritual energy and frequency to rise and to change this nation, to change this world, and to heal, to heal us in Jesus' name. Help us to heal this universe, heal this world. Glory, glory be to Almighty God, in Jesus' name. You say that, give praise and thanks unto Almighty God. Thank you there, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Angels. Thank you, Father, Servant, and Holy Spirit. All praise and thanks unto the Judge Jehovah, Almighty God. Almighty God, worthy of all names. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us enough. I love you. I love you. Let's do that. Yes, let's pray until the time changes. If it's, we're praying at 4.44, we'll keep on praying until it gets 4.45. If you're praying at 2.22 or 
or 3.33, you pray for that minute. And we'll all be doing it. Even if you have to get up in the middle of the night, we'll do it. Who's with me? Yes, we can change the world because the world is an energy and we are energies. And I know we can do it. Who's with me? In Jesus' name. So.